Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 3 of the Gmeter training. Uh, in this day, we'll talk about that how we can create your first test case in Gmeter. So in our last sessions, we already discussed the Gmeter element and we already discussed that how to install the Gmeter and what is the Gmeter and how we can use that. Now today we'll talk about that how uh, we can create our first test case. So if you see this, this is the steps. So first we have to open the Gmeter. We need to create a test plan, create the thread group and update their property, add the listener and then we need to uh, save the test plan and then run that. So let's uh, open the Gmeter first. So this is my Gmeter and I am running this Gmeter on that Mac. So as it is running on the Mac, you can't see in the top called, uh, you know, uh, menu bar, you can't see that. So these are the menu bars which is in the top. So, so that is menu bar and then here, this is the menu tool. So I'm just giving you that Gmeter overview quickly. And here in the left side, we have a test plan and the right side we have editor. So these are the component we have and these are the timer and the logs available. So now in our case, we are going to create our first test plan. So what I am going to do that, I'll uh, put that uh, first test plan, something called that first test plan. And then once we uh, are done that and uh, so this first test plan is created. Now what we have to do, we have to right click and then add and then we need to add the thread group. So as I mentioned earlier in that uh, geometry element, the first step is that we need to create the thread groups. So we are going to add the thread groups. Once we put the uh, thread groups here, we have options called name. So let's say we put that uh, test user. So these are the user we are going to add. And if you see that we have a comments and then this is the options where if you any error is coming, if you can define here. So these things or this uh, advanced part will come later, but let's say the thread property. So thread property, first we have a number of threads. In, uh, in bracket, we have a user. So as I mentioned earlier, thread is nothing but a dummy user. So how many user we need uh, to run this thread? So what will be happen? If you define that num user is one, user is two or user is five, it will actually hit to the server with that number of users. So let's say that I'm going to put that number of uh, threads is five. Now we have a ramp up period. What is the ramp up period? Ramp up period means that once the first user loaded and then get the response, how many, how much second we should wait to send the second user. So let's say that I'll put that uh, five second. So let's say that it means that first it will do one thing. It will send one user uh, within the five user. It will send one user. And then once it get the response, it will wait five second. And then it will say, send another user like that. It will be happens. Okay. Now we have a loop count and you can see there is an infinity loop and then if you uncheck, you can define the count. So it means that um, how much loops it will be run. So let's say that if we put two, it means that five into number of user two. So it will be run 10 times. So it will be called that web service to the 10 times. If number is one, it means that five into one is the five times. So basically loop is nothing but the how much time we want to uh, hit to that server or you want to hit to that application okay so five user after that after this five user ended it will be uh, do that how much count we have defined so let's say that i'm putting that two so it means that five user it will be hit two time so five five ten user total it will be hit okay now our thread groups is defined here now we are going to add sampler so if you see that our steps First, we need to create the thread group and then we need to update the property and then we need to add the sampler. So let's add the sampler. Sampler means nothing but uh, if we right click add. Um, so if you see under the thread group, we have a sampler and we are going to do the sampler is these are the sampler. Sampler is nothing but the type of request we are going to raise the request. So let's say that which type of request we are going to do that? LDAP connection, JUnit, GMS, subscribe, FTP request, Bolt request. So our case, the simple one, the HTTP request. Using the HTTP request, we can visit or we can go to this any of this website and then we can uh, visit that. So let's say that um, my website, okay? So which website or which website load test I'm going to do that so that I have to be defined that. The first thing is that 
server name or IP address. I have to put the my IP address or the server name. So let's do that. I'll copy my, um, my website name from here and then open JMeter and paste that. So this server or this website, I'm going to visit that. So let's remove that slash and then in the path, I will put the slash. So if you are checking in a relative path like index.page or that uh, any other page, you can define that. Now we have a protocol under this protocol. We, we can define the which kind of protocol we have to be used. So I'll copy this HTTPS and paste there. I'll remove that colon and remove this part. Okay. So let's understand correctly. We are going to hit to the HTTPS and then snow expert ROI slash path, but we need to be put www on this path. Okay. Now we can define the port number and here we have a uh, request type. We have a various request type. I'm not going to change that at that moment in the advanced part. We'll do that. So this is mostly used for our API testing. So for the timing, understand correctly. We, I am going to visit my website with the snowexpertrohit.com with that index page or the home page, which is nothing but the slash page and how much user we are going to hit that five into two, which is the 10 user. Now, whatever response we are getting, that response has to be somehow represent. And I want to see that how much data or how much response we got, right? For that, what we have to do, add, and then I am going to add the listener. So listener is help us to uh, listen or maybe report that how much data it came up, right? So that is useful. And there are various type of report. So we have, so first report, I'm going to see that view result in table. So I just added. So if you see here, under this my uh, website, if I right click add, and then I have options called listener. But if I go back here and add, also, I do have the listener, okay? So either you can add from here or here, it doesn't matter. So first we have a view result in table. You can add various kind of report, various kind of uh, depending on your requirement. So I added one report, you can add multiple report. Let's say I'm going to add one more uh, uh, listener called view result entry. Okay, so both the, both the options is added right now. So our, um, Test plan is ready. We just need to be saved that. Once you click save button, you have a option to, to save that. So let's say that I'll put that my website. Okay. And then after that dot JMX, the file context is the JMX. So let's say and save that. So my website or maybe my uh, JMX file is ready right now. What we have to do, I have to run that. And then once we run that, it will start hitting to my website and then it will start representing that result to here. So let's start that. Once we start that, you can see there the timer is showing right now. And then it started hitting uh, one by one on the 10 user. You can see this all hit 10 user and then how much time it takes, the status is okay or not. And then uh, it, it is showing the latency time, everything is showing in the tabular format. If you see on the tree format, you can see that uh, in even in the tree format. So various options is available for various purpose. You can see these are showing. Now we can keep increasing the load and we can check that. So for that, we have options called clear all and the clear. So if you click clear or clear all, if you click the clear, it will only clear this table, uh, this result, not this one. You can either do the clear all or clear. And then if you want, you can increase the uh, thread count. Let's say that I'll uh, put the 5,000. So what will be happen? 5,000 user is going to hit my website. So let's click here. And once we go to this table result, you can see that it started hitting my website quickly one by one. And so these are the time which is right now, you know, hitting one by one. And you can see it's still running and it is loading one by one all the users. So this way you can, you can see uh, uh, this is running one by one all these stuffs here and their status is uh, uh, continuously uh, uh, okay because it is hitting my server one by one. So this way you can get that uh, data. So you can see that the, it's run it uh, here, how much user or the loaded user is loaded and then how much user we are expecting. Total 5,000 user we are expecting. So far it is uh, loaded 1,700 user, okay? 
So this way we can uh, do a load testing on your server. If you want to stop, you simply click the stop and it will be stop testing. So that's it for today. Uh, if you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.